welcome to Saturday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where today we're going to be having a look at another one of these riddle Sudokus. And we've done a few of these, I think I've done three of these before, by Zegres. And this one is by Zegres and Jeremy Dover. Uh, and it's called Time to Think Outside the Box. So we're going to have to, I think we have to work out what goes into box five. And then we can solve the Sudoku after that. Which begs the question, what if I can't do the riddle and work out what goes in box five? Well, I guess then this puzzle will never be seen in a video. So uh, apologies in advance if I fail to do this. Um, if you're watching this, then I probably have managed to do it. So all will be well. Um, now, I've got a couple of things to mention today. The first and by far the most important thing is I need to say a very, very happy birthday to an eight-year-old girl called Ella. Now, Ella Hinesbroft, I think it is, or it might be Ella Hinesbroft. Uh, Ella, your daddy got in touch with us and told us about how you, well, you you really enjoy watching our videos. Now, I know you are a profoundly gifted mathematician, and I cannot tell you how thrilled Mark and I are to hear about uh, young people like you who enjoy our videos and get something out of them. So. We are only too happy to wish you a very, very special day today. I know you, I know what you're waiting for. I do hope you have had lots and lots of super cake. Uh, that is, of course, one of the most important parts of birthdays. Um, but yeah, a very happy birthday, Ella, and we hope you enjoy this video. Um, now, next, on a, on a rather more prosaic level, but still quite important, tomorrow is the 1st of May. And that means it's Patreon Reward Day. Over on Patreon, we had over 2,000 correct entries to last month's reward. So let's try and beat that number for the coming month. Um, four o'clock tomorrow, uh, the reward will go live. It's another Sudoku hunt. Um, should be approachable, um, we promise. And um, yeah, we hope that you enjoy it, obviously. So um, check that out tomorrow at four o'clock. Uh, nothing else to tell you. So let's let's read the rules of this one which sound a bit strange. I did read these a moment or two ago before I turned on the webcam. There is a secret reason behind each shape in these Sudoku boxes. The shape in box five is missing. Fill in the shape to start. Normal Sudoku rules apply. On gold entropic lines, every three adjacent digits consists of a low, one, two, three, a mid, a four, five, or six, and a high, 789. Purple Remban lines contain a set of consecutive non-repeating digits, which can appear in any order, um, and determine the type of line in box 5, Renban or Entropic. Oh, I see. So whatever we put in here, we don't know what type of line it is. Um, so we're going to have to work that out. Now, white dots join consecutive digits. OK, so these two cells have to contain consecutive digits. Black dots join digits with a 1 to 2 ratio. So that's normal. So if this was a 4, this would have to be an 8 or a 2, actually. I've just realized um, because we have to just make sure one of the digits is double the other one. Um, not all dots are given. OK, so it's perfectly possible, for example, for these two cells to contain consecutive digits. There doesn't have to be a white dot between consecutive digits. There doesn't have to be a black dot between digits in a 1 to 2 ratio. But we know in the dominoes where there are black and white dots, we can find those relationships. So do have a go at this. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. In fact, I'm just thinking about this now. Is it not more sensible? If I do manage to, well, if you're watching this, or if you've started the puzzle and you haven't managed to work out what goes in the middle box, perhaps we should provide either a hint or a second version where what goes in this box is, is, is there. So there might be a spoiled version um, so that everybody can have a go at the puzzle, even if the riddle proves intractable. Um, oh, yeah. And the other thing is, I know this puzzle apparently has a 100% rating on Logic Masters Germany, so it should be absolutely brilliant. Now, so let's get to it. We've got to work out what to put in this box. Time to think outside the box. Um, right. And I want it to be gold because that would make very sort of, it feels like that's the correct or, you know, oscillation. We've got entropic, Renban, entropic, 
Ren band. So this should be Ren Entropic, really. Um, that looks like a seven, doesn't it? That almost looks like a nine. Well, mm, it's a nine with a sort of thick middle, slightly plump nine. It does actually that really does look like a nine? Actually, actually, it looked more like a nine when I didn't make it blue. Uh, hang on, look like a nine again. That does look like a nine, and that does look like a seven. And that could be, maybe this is eight. Right, okay, why is this correct? So if we did an eight with a plump middle, I'll make that one purple. Seven, eight, nine. So what have we got at the top? Top looks more like one, two, three than seven, eight, nine. One. What's going on? Do I believe this 789 here? That looks really interesting. Oh, look, I know what I can do. I can draw the line here using the pen tool. There we go. So seven, what, what does it mean? Time to think outside the box. The shape in box five is missing. Fill in the shape to start. There is a secret reason behind each shape. Seven, eight, nine. That still means I've got to work out why why would this be one, two, three? Because I that this this looks like this looks like the bottom of three numbers, doesn't it? One if you're on a digital clock, one, two, three. Seven. Oh, digi yeah, digital clock. That's not such a silly idea. I'm just thinking about the time to think outside the box. Um, so we get a seven, an eight, a nine. can't see the lines now. Um, I don't know actually. <laughs> this is not going very well is it? We've got we've got what looks like the bottom of digits here but then we've got the top of digits here. Oh no I know. Oh, oh Simon so sorry. Right no no. Well at least I know what this is now. Okay, right, 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 right. Let's get rid of everything. It is, this is one, two, three, this top thing. But this isn't seven. That's, that's what's been tripping me up. That's not seven and that's not nine. But that is the bottom of the next digit after one, two, three. So what we've, what we've got to imagine here is that this, if this was taller, if this three by three box was sort of six by three or something, then we would have, if you imagine what a digital one would look like, it would look like this stroke and then there would be this again on top of it. And if you look, think about what a digital two would look like, it would look like, well, it would, this would be the bottom of it, wouldn't it? A digital three would look like this with, a, with a, obviously the top part of the three over it. And this is the bottom of a digital four. So if we were to extend the four like that, you can see that's a four. So this needs to be the bottom of a five. Now I say that, I've now got to work out what the bottom of a five looks like in digital clock world. It probably, I mean, if that's a six, is a six just that, or is it that? No, it look, I think it's probably more like that. I don't know actually. And is in a digital clock, no, so a digital clock, is that going to be what the eight would look like? Or would it look like, would it look like that? The truth is I'm not sure. I think, I think we've probably got to do that as the bottom of the five. 
because it feels like the three, for example, you know, it's got its middle, middle stem here. So yes, if we were to reflect this shape around that, you would just get, you would only need a, a five high, a five by three, wouldn't you? Um, grid in order to draw a correct three. So if that's right, we need the bottom of a five. So we need, we need that shape, which is going to be that. And let's just check once so we've got one, bottom of a two, bottom of a three, bottom of a four, bottom of a five, bottom of a six. Yeah, bottom of a seven, which is actually how I, I lucked into this by thinking this looked like a seven. And you can see it almost does. It's just a slightly too big seven compared to what it, I think, is meant to look like in a digital clock world. Eight here and then nine here, which would look something like that. Um, right. So now, now let's check the rules again. So now I'm going to be actually very interested to see how many people get that instantly and how many people have to sweat like I have for it. I've got, th so now I've got three backward C's, but I don't know what this line is, do I? It's entropic or Renban. But now, okay, right, so what do we do? We must, it doesn't actually feel like we've made a huge amount of progress, does it? I mean, it's, we've done the riddle but I don't know what sort of line this is. Okay, I know what we do. Right, so the Renban here is eight cells large, so it must be missing an extreme digit. So it's either not got a one on it or not got a nine on it. So that means this cell and this cell have got to be a one or a nine. Now this is a seven cell Renban, so it's either missing one and two or it's missing eight and nine. And this is a five cell Remban. So it has a five on it. Um, and that's because obviously, if you try and select five di consecutive digits from the string of digits one to nine, it doesn't matter if you start at one, you'll still reach five or start at nine and go backwards, you'll still reach five. So there must be a five on here. Five can't go on the black dots. Um, so if this was a if this was a Renban line, these digits would be either one and two or eight and nine as well. And we'd have all sorts of sort of one, two, eight, nine relationships around the grid. That could never be a nine. And entropic lines, I don't know if I, I think I have done one puzzle that involved entropic lines before. And I think I didn't do it. I think I did it as a, as a test of, of a puzzle that Mark did on the channel. And I found them very counterintuitive indeed. And what I did was I colored them in. I remember that. Yeah, I mean, ah, yeah, okay. In fact, let's just think about that for a moment. On an entropic line, any three consecutive cells have to contain a low, medium and a high digit. So this is a low, medium and a high, and that's a low, medium and a high. So this is a low, medium and a high. That's, that's actually beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Right, so I now know what that Remban line is. Because, because these three digits have to contain a digit that's selected from one, two and three, and a digit that's selected from seven, eight and nine, but it's only a five cell Renban, they must contain a three and a seven. Because if we try and put a two in there, for example, we can never reach seven on a five cell line. Two, three, four, five, six, you can never get to seven. So these squares include a three and include a seven. And the whole line has to include the other digits. And you can't put five on, on the black dots. So, and you can't put, oh, you can't put seven on the black dots, more to the point. Oh, so seven, seven has to be there. There we go, we've actually got a digit now. How long does that take me? 15 minutes to get a digit. Um, uh, okay, so now we will go for this cell, which is either a three or a six, 
or it's the counterpart to four on a black dot, which is unfortunately two or eight. And the same is true there. So that's two, three, six or eight, look. Oh, oh no, that's fine, isn't it? So two and eight would work out very nicely if this was a Renban. So, hmm, okay. This digit has to be from three, four, five, six, and seven. <laughs> We're getting to good lift levels of pencil marking here. And oh, I see. So what if this was a two or a three, then we couldn't have low digits along the rest of the gold line. Uh, okay. So, hmm, the column nine, I think must have the same property as column three, because those three cells have to be, again, because of the, this quality of the entropic line, we've got to have a low, medium and a high in this string. We've got to have a low, medium and a high in this string. So this has got to be a low, medium and a high. But that's actually, that's really impossible to understand, isn't it? That's not going to give us much leeway here. Wow. Wow. I have not got a clue what to do. What are the, what are the other digits we've got in this box? Ones, twos, eights and nines. Ones, twos, eights and nines. It's almost very interesting. We've actually... Yeah, that's actually that's beautiful. Right, that's important. So these three cells, let's just highlight those for a moment, only have the ability to be ones, twos, eights, and nines. But what would happen if that was a Renban? Well, these two squares would have to be extreme digits from the set of digits one to nine. So they'd either have to be a one, two pair. Well, that's going to force these five digits to be selected from the four different digits, one, two, eight, and nine. But it's the same if this was an eight, nine pair. This would still be selecting uh, five cells from four different digits. So we're definitely going to have to repeat a digit. So we now know that this line is entropic. And that means what? That means one, one type of digit appears, appear, because whatever that digit is, because it, it's going to appear every three steps along the line. Because if this was, say, low, that was medium and this was high, then we would have to have a low again. So it must go, because, and that's because those three digits need a low. So those, those would be both low and that one would be low. So these three are all the same, um, which is probably worth recording, isn't it? So let's just highlight those. These are all the same. So these are either um one two three oh four five oh look at that that's nearly impossible well if that's if this is a four five or a six this square has to be a three um oh bobbins oh uh it's it's actually interesting almost whatever if if red are high digits that digit has to be an eight because it's on a black dot and you can't put seven and nine on black dots so if that was an eight that would have to be a four i'm not sure right so whatever this one is that has to repeat after another three so that's these two are the same sort of high, high, medium or lowness, and those two have to be the same, high, medium or lowness. Right, so I can tell you something now that's quite interesting. So that tells us that one of those three cells is an eight. And that's because if we look at the colouring on these black dots, every single black dot has a different colour on it. And that means there must be a high digit on one of these black dots. And we know we've just said the only high digit that we can put on a black dot is an eight. So there is an eight in one of these. 
8, which means there's a 4 in one of those. And it means that is not an 8, actually. So this is down to 2, 3, or 6. But that doesn't allow me to remove 4 from here, because 4 could go with 2. Ah! Um, okay. So how do we make this work? <laughs> there's got to be, there's an 8, 4 here, an 8, 4 here, on an 8, 4 here. There's, ah, ah, I see, right. This, I really like this puzzle, actually. This is really, really beautiful. Now, look at these three colors, and that's the point. They are three different um, colors here. So how could this be a four, five, six triple? If that's a four, five, six triple, none of, one of these, which must be, which must be the color of the medium digit, could not be filled if this was four, five, six. So that is a three. So that's a three, and therefore this is a six. So this is not a six. And oh, and this is a four. Right, okay. So, and that's got to go with two because of the stuff we did with eight. So we've now got two, four, two here. We've not got four there. We've got five, six there. We've got, no, it's not possible to put three on the, um, on the white dot to connect to a five or a six now. Oh, but the four, five and seven are all possible, I think. Oh, beautiful, right. This can't be eight because that's gonna to have to have a four next to it. So now I've got a four in one of those two cells. It's not very, uh, it's not very sensible highlighting. Ah, but the eight is also vertical. So this can't be an eight. Oh, so if I could get rid of nine here, then we would be in clover because we would know that this was a one, two pair. Um, hmm, okay. So, so we now, oh, okay, well, so we now know there's a four for sure in one of those two cells, which is almost perfect. And that's because we know that one of these digits is medium and whichever one it is, it can't have five and six, so it must have four in it. And the four can't go here because of these eights. I love, this is so beautiful. So if this was four, these this would be a five, six pair. That would have to be six. This would have to be five because you can't put five on the black dot. Now, if, if this was four, then this would have to be six. Yes, okay, so because one of these is four, one of these is six, I think. Because neither could be five, given they're on black dots. I think that's right. If that's four, this has to be black dot number. If this is four, this, yeah, so one of these is six, which means one of these is three. <laughs> this pencil marking is getting absolutely ludicrous now because I'll never remember this, that these threes are related. Um, okay. So this this black dot, which looks very much like it wants to be 6-3, it can't... Oh, it is 6-3. It is 6-3, isn't it? Because it can't be 2-4. And if it can't be 2-4, it can't be 1-2, it can't be 2-4, and it can't be 4-8. So this is 6-3. And does that mean this is the 6, or could that be the 3? Ah! <laughs> um, I don't know, actually. I'm not confident enough to say that this is necessarily the six although it obviously looks like it wants to be if this is six well if, no, if that's three this would be six and that would be three and then there'd be a three up here i don't know um 
So if this is three, this is six. So is it is it necessary there's a three, six in one of these? Oh, we know one of these is four, eight, don't we? One of these is four, eight. Ah, right, okay, I see, yes. So let's let's look at these dominoes now. Because one of these dominoes is not a one, two pair. And the reason we can see that is if we do try and make this a one and this a two, for example, what do we put in both of those cells now? You've got to put nine in both of them. That won't work. So, so this is huge because now these black dots are not one, two. They can't be two, four because one of these black dots is four, eight. So one of them is three, six. So these digits are three, six, four, eight in some order. <laughs> okay, well that's not six by Sudoku, so that's not three by Sudoku. We know this one isn't four because we know that there's a four eight pair. And we, yes, we know the four is always on the outside, don't we? So we can always get rid of a four on the inside of these. So there's an eight in one of these. Um. Ah, I've got it, I've got it, right. Look at red. There are three reds in, um, in the central box. And therefore, how could this be a three? If this is a three, these two squares would have to be the same level, same size as the three. They'd have to be a one, two pair. And the two's already in the box, so that's a six. And therefore, this is an eight, this is a four. And this seems to have to be a three. And that seems to have to be a six. And that seems to have to be a three. And these are not two. So there's now a one, eight, nine triple, which means these two squares are five and seven by Sudoku. Um, so this is six now, which means that red is middle digits, which means one of red is five. And look, five can't go here. So this is five, this is four, this is seven, this is five. This is ones and nines, and we know the order because of the nature of purple. Purple is a three, so purple needs to go with one, not nine. So that's all fixed. I absolutely understand why this puzzle is so highly thought of, by the way, because it's so, it, the Sudoku is beautiful. Now I've got 279 here, so that has to, I think, be a one. Which is slightly weird. Um, I hope I haven't made a mistake there. I don't, th I don't think I have. And that seems to mean I've got, I mean I've got an eight nine pair here, which means I've got a one two pair here. This has become. Oh no, we already knew that was five or six. We don't know what this is. We've got four, six and eight into these cells. Um, okay. It's still, it's still slightly weird to me that this is going to finish actually. Because we seem to have an awful lot of, of open real estate. And I'm not totally sure I understand how we're going to resolve the ambiguity. So this is a two or an eight now. So this square can't be a two, can it? Because two would have to go with a one. So this has become one or nine. We've now got a one nine pair in the column and the two digits we're left to find are therefore two and five. But how? How do we do this? So there's now a six. Oh, okay. There's now a six in one of two places up here. If, if this was six, it would be on a white dot and next to a five, which it can't see. Good grief. Right. Here we go. That is not six. And the reason it's not six is this cell couldn't be seven. So it would have to be five. And this is an entropic line. And so we, we need this, this to be a low or a high digit, not another middle digit. So this doesn't work, which means that's not six, and this is six, which means there's a six in one of these three cells, but this is not a red band, so we can't, we can't do that, I don't think. 
Although I guess what we should do is exactly what we've done here in terms of colouring, shouldn't we? Those three have to be the same size. These two have to be the same size and these two have to be the same size. Uh, and the same is going to be true there, look. So those three are the same. I'll try not to use the same colours. And those two are the same. Um, which I'm sure matters for some reason. Um, okay. <laughs> Right, I see. Oh, no, no, hang on. Yes, no, I do. Oh, this is gorgeous. Again, look at column nine. I think I looked at this earlier before we had any digits in here, but this is this is, in, this is crucial. We know that they, they are a low, medium and a high. We know this is a low, medium and a high in some order. So we know the middle digits must be a low, medium and a high. And there's a five here. So this can't be another medium. So it's got to be, it can't be four or six. It's got to be eight. And this now has to be low and has to be a two. Which means, which means we've got seven, nine here. This is odd, so this is even, and it can't be a six. So that's got to be eight. Oh, which is annoying because that doesn't actually go with either digit here. Oh, look, 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 though. Eight is, eight is green. So we now know that the other greens are high. So we've got a seven, nine pair here. We've got a seven, nine pair in column seven. And red cannot be five, it cannot be four, it cannot be six. So red is not medium, red is low, which means that digit's a one or a three because it can't be a two. This digit is a two or a three because it can't be a one. So that means these two have to be fours, fives, and sixes, and that's what, four and six, see that one. So that's five, this is four or six, and it, oh, I've just seen, it can't be six. So that's four. There's now a five in one of those three. There is an eight in one of these three. And this is a seven or a nine. So this has to be even and can't be a six. So that has to be eight as well, I think. And that's massive because if that's eight, that's two. And that tells us the nature of the Remban. The Remban is missing low digits. And that's a five and that's a two. So five is in one of these three. It can't be on the entropic line because we've already looked at this. This is already a medium digit on this entropic line. Uh, now, so five is aligning here. So the five in this column is in one of three places. And sorry, let me just figure this out. I'm not, not doing it. Is this a seven? Is that what we're meant to appreciate? I can see it can't be a four. And it doesn't seem to be able to be a five either. So the, yes, okay, that's a seven, which means this is a six, which means this is a five, which means this is a five. And we're almost cooking with gas here. Now we've got a six in one of these two cells. And what do we need to put in box two? We need to put in threes, sevens, and nines. So seven must go here, which means this is nine and this is three by Sudoku. This is one. This is a two, by again by Sudoku. That's a two, that's a one. There's a two on this line at the bottom. The one must be in one of those two specific cells in box one. The seven is giving me a nine over here, and a seven here, and a seven here, and a nine here. This is this is entropic again, isn't it? Oh, so let's have a look down this column. We need a three, we need a six, and we need a seven. That's not six. So grey is either low or high. I'm not sure if we can do that. Right, we need an even digit here that's not six. So that's got to be eight because to keep these consecutive, obviously. Um, 
And what do we need here? It's two, oh, two in this box is just placed, I see. And this is a three, six pair, which is also just resolved, which resolves the six and the four. I'm almost tempted to say we, we, we're getting this done now. One, two, and five at the bottom here. And these have got to be four, eight, nine. That's not nine, that's not two. And this is entropics, isn't it? So yeah, this is this is beautiful. I love this puzzle. Look, yellow is a complete set of one entropic size. So it's either all low, all medium, or all high. Well the only set I can make there I think is one two and three if I try and make this five I need the medium digits and this hasn't got any option at all um, and obviously none of these can be high so this is a one two three triple and there seems to only be one order to do that which makes this a seven which means this is a high digit um, it means this is not three and this okay so this is six isn't it so now we know purple is medium which means that's four that's eight that's nine and this is five good grief good grief that's two by sudoku um which is a obviously that's the entropic low isn't it so there must be an entropic low up here which must be one because two and three have gone. So these two squares here have got to be five and nine, which is resolved, that's nine, that's five. This is on a dot, that's got to be eight. This is a one, three pair, which is resolved. This is four, five, and seven, so that's five. five. This is a four, seven pair, which I don't think is resolved yet. And this is Ren band, so we can't do that. Um, so something must be going on in this box. We need threes, fours, and nines. So that's four. This is a three, nine pair. That's a bit worrying. I thought that was going to not align here. Okay, well, let's try these squares. These are ones and threes, which is resolved. Okay, one, three, three, nine, nine, eight. Okay, so we need fours, sixes, sevens, and eights. So this is six and seven which means that's six and that's seven and that's seven and that's four, which means that's four and that's eight. And I want to click tick, yay. <laughs> we did it. That is absolutely beautiful, actually, to, be, to be perfectly frank with you. I loved everything about that. I love the fact that the start is weird. The, the sort of what's the secret reason behind the, the shape of the middle box. I think we we will have to put in, we'll put two links under the video because if you can't get that, you'll never be able to even, well, you might be able to start the puzzle. You definitely won't be able to finish it because I clearly seem to have used this logic to get my four, five, six triple, for example. And uh, yeah, I remember I needed to, I needed this to realize there was an eight in one of those three cells. Um, yeah, so the start is very interesting, but what I think is actually better than, than the riddle by some distance, because it's so gorgeous, is the way that these numbers, which are sort of, they occur in nature, if you like, the bottom of digital numbers, have been used to create such a beautiful path to solve a Sudoku. I mean, it's, it's magical. It's absolutely magical that this works. And that you can, you know, you can work out this is a three, four, five, six, seven Rembrandt straight away. You can work out things like, you know, that, that this has to be a low, medium, and a high digit. You can work out how the black dots operate because because these two cells are restricted. There's so much to admire. There really is. So Zegres, Jeremy Dover, take a bow, and thanks so much for watching. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.